Hello and welcome to Warriors TV. The Sins League 2 action here between Stennis Muir and Still and Albion. My name's Cameron Mahda and I'm joined by Craig G. Telfer. Craig, how are you doing? I'm buzzing, Cammy. I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely delighted to be here. I, this, I was up at really early this morning. I was up at 6 o'clock because I was so excited. This is, you, you know, the League Cup is, is good fun, but this is what it's all about. This is the League campaign and I cannot wait to get started and I cannot wait to see what it's like to play against a team who are similar level to us, see how we get on because I think this will give us the perfect indication as to our season and how it's going. We are awaiting the referee's whistle to kick off this game. I think we're waiting a wee while, I think it's, we've got another minute to wait before it hits three o'clock. Oh no, oh, there, <laughs> there he goes, he's just kicked off. Kicked off, where we are. Now place the ball forward. Uh, bring his body around there, it's very easy for Mackin just to, Mackin's not the most, I've mentioned, not the most uh, quickest of players, but very easy for him to get in. Weatherman puts the ball forward, it's Thompson in behind now. Split back in to Orr. Takes a touch, oh, and he fires it wide. Good chance for the Warriors. Yeah, very good play. For Throw and taken. Good Roberts up against James Lyon. Split across. Ends up with Carrick. To the back. It's, goes up the box and nips a shot. Fires it into the Terrison. Poor from Stennis Muir there, poor from Stennis Muir. Uh, Check that's in an area of no danger to Stirling Albion. I mean, Weatherburn took it in the right position. Yeah. The ref won't be played back, though, to, for some reason. Pass from Thompson to Christie, line overlapping now. So a chance for the Warriors. With that cross, well stopped there by the number 10, Leach. I know the best ball from from from, uh, from line. That was uh, into an area where it was very, very crowded. Ball went across. Lucky there, good effort from, from Thompson there. Looks to switch the ball to the far side. Pass could have been better from Laird as Jameson quickly takes the front towards Thompson. Does well. Keep the, keeping the ball plays it through now. It's James Lyon breaks away. The no, you know, number 12 cuts back in. Does it again? Oh, oh. oh James Lyons fell over as he hit the shot. Done well. To put himself in position to have a shot and he's fell oh, over. It's under pressure. McGregor breaks with the ball. Flanagan. Igiki overlapping the right. Ball in from Igiki. Comes back over a kick. It's went over. Good effort for Dale Carrick there. Get himself into the game here because he's not had any sort of impact since coming on. That's three times he's been on the ball. Three times he's he's given it away really cheaply. His line does the same line there. Does the same there. Someone on the ball. Leach inside to Grant. Let's play through to Carrick. Flanagan. He's up against Mills. Still in possession. Back to Laird. Off to number 10. Looks for an overlap there. Laird goes into the Warriors box. Beats Jameson with ease. 1 0. Rubbish from Stenhouse Muir there, rubbish. So, so easy for Mark Laird to walk through the middle of the defence there and just poke that ball for McNiff. Yeah. Minutes to go here. Certainly need to see, uh, see something different. Tierney and Brown have been ready to go for a wee while now. Yeah. Just wait for the ball to go out of play. So now when the ball Moore has a shot, he's hit the post, out for a goal kick. A great effort for Kieran Moore there, but so unlucky. He caught that so well. Ball in. Head away. Comes back to Brown. It's the ball back in. Head away to the Lion. Forbes again. Put the ball inside, it's clear. Well defended the Mills. Run that ball forward. Headed away. Lion. Ball at the box. Headed wide. Go okay. kick. I don't think. Yeah, he 
gets it away. Oh, as far as I see, you just want to see Forbes chuck this in here. Balls. Thompson across, it's headed away. Macken. Ah, he's been talking up. Warriors on the attack. O'Reilly, the shot. In Across, oh Tierney. my goodness, Tierney just didn't get the touch on that there, it's a corner, a corner, a corner so on and put it on, but not the, the best of touches though. I'm not happy about the, the Stone Island players, not happy about the, the foul, I thought it was a foul on Dylan Macken. Oh, Macken has been sent <laughs> off. Macken's been sent off. You know someone I can understand his frustration there because I thought it was a foul, but Jameson fouled him, obviously said something. Lying, looking for an option, chooses Forbes. Number seven, Jameson, and about pressure from Bikey. That's full time here at Oakview Park. Stone Albion collect three points. What are you watching the game, Craig? Disappointed, very disappointed. I thought that first half was good, first half was even, both teams having good chances, but the second half, after still and Albion scored, Stennismuir didn't really didn't, didn't really do much. There was a bit of a flourish at the end there. We talked about the, the chance that Ryan Tierney might have had. But on the on the whole, we didn't do enough. We, we didn't do enough and I thought that some of our, our better players didn't, didn't, didn't really think that or influenced yeah. the game much O'Reilly when he came on didn't really influence the game much yeah just disappointing poor start to the campaign yeah. you know we've got Albion Rovers away next weekend to a bit of a bogey team for us so yeah. aye, that's it just how I feel man disappointed D disappointed Cammy yeah it was a poor goal concede I'm just checking I think Albion Rovers might have won their game in Denver City yeah. we've been no updates in that game for a while I say that you know it's like it's only it's only one it's only one game so it doesn't doesn't define your season. You want to see it as a barometer. It's a good still on Albion side, but I just I just don't think we, we quite did enough. From our end, the players that that was impressive. I thought Robert Thompson had a really good game, albeit his influence diminished when he was moved in field. You know, I think he's, he's far better as a as a wide player. Lyon, a good first half, not so good in the second. I food for a lot to ponder there for, for Stephen Swift. As you mentioned, next time, um, well, next game is away to Fifton, well, off to Fifton Hill for Albion over the way. I think Warriors fans should be able to attend that, but do pay so. attention to our social media. After that, we'll be back live on the 10th of August as we welcome Dundee United B to Oakville View Park in the SPFL Trust Trophy. And the winner of that will uh, make a trip to Cove Rangers in the next round in September. Do you have any final comments? No, only uh, just get a couple of laggers this evening because I think that's the, that's the only thing that's going to make up for that. Just scunnered, that's how I feel, you know. We've been waking up this morning so excited and just not really turning up for the last half hour, not really not really playing well, just die, just disappointing, man. That'll be up then, all from us for the Dame Warriors TV. We hope you enjoyed your afternoon, result aside, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, thank you, take care, thank bye. Thank you for joining us. Ryan, it's an unfortunate one, unfortunate one to take today. Can you give us your initial thoughts on the, the game at home? Uh, it's a tough one. I mean, <laughs> I thought they were good in spells, you know. Kept the ball well, we created a lot of chances. It's just that one one moment in it. It's the one moment, the one goal, but there's a lot of positives to take for it, you know. A lot of a tricky one, a bit of tricky pre season for you, obviously, being injured and obviously David yeah. coming in in the day. That's about well, about 25 minutes to go, you went down injured and thankfully <laughs> Jenna managed to get you up. Do you have any updates on? I was uh, letting uh, Big Nicky put his boots on. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're a goal and you go down, you don't need to go off. Aye, so uh, that's that's uh, good to hear. But aye. Um, no, the injury felt fine. Uh, I took a bang in my knee against it, man. But apart from that, no, I've, I've been training last Thursday and it's feeling fine now. So all good. And how how important is it as a goalkeeper for you to have a, like a young goalkeeper like David Wilson coming and pressuring you for that number one spot? Ah, of course, it is. Div's, Div's really good as well, you know. And even the pre-season games, he missed a couple because he's COVID instant. But I mean, he's he stepped in and the Dunfermline game. He makes four or five really really good saves. So he's putting pressure on. And to be fair, nobody knew who was starting until the day. So he's at that level where he's ready to step in straight away as well. So it's good. And on to next week now, I'll be normal away at Clifton Hill. Yeah. It's going into that with positivity though. Yeah, we need to go, we need to go and win. It's a it's a big game now, so go go there all at attacks really and, and win, take three points away for there and kick the season on.
Ryan, thank you. Cheers. Yep, cheers. Stephen, not that way anyone wants to start off a league campaign, but a game that I thought there was nothing really in. Can you give us your, um, your immediate yeah, thoughts? Yeah, I think that's obviously why it's a wee bit, a wee bit sore. Um, obviously, I think, the, as you say, the game was probably poised at 0-0. And um, I, I didn't think neither team done enough to actually go and take the game by the scruff of the neck. There was flashes across the goal. Um, we had a couple of crosses for Darren Christie. Um, they had a couple of, I wouldn't even, a quarter chances, I'd say. Um, but like you say, there was, there was nothing in the game. It's just disappointing where we tried to defend in doing the wide area and they get a ricochet which puts the boy in. And again, we then have to engage that. He knocks it across and the boy taps it in. So um, it was a game of fine margins. And just on the day, still an Albion came out on top. Um, fair play for them to grind it out. But like you say, there was nothing in it. And Ryan Marshall, who's just came back from injury, went down with about 25 to go, but thankfully got back up. Was he was there injured? Or? Um, I think he's maybe just got a wee reaction for the knee injury that he had. But um, no, I think I think he's fine. MJ and I treated him and he, he got on with the rest of the game. I think the only, the only thing we can do is look, look on to next week. Too. Listen, it's, it's, it's a real tough league, um, and you see Albion Rovers are 2 0 up um, at the moment as well, so that'll be a real tough game, um, and uh, we'll just need to we'll just need to move forward. But um, real, real sore one to take. You know, you never want to lose your first game, but ultimately, I feel as if we should have defended the goal better. Um, and I think we could have um, done better um, with our general play up, up top. Um, snatched it stuff first half. James Lyon was bearing down on the goalkeeper and cut back rather than, rather than try and shoot. Um, so all these things. But listen, it's still still really early. So we need to make sure that um, we we dust ourselves down and get ready for next week. Stephen Olmos and others. Cheers. Cheers.